The information here is presented by the Thomas Harriet College of Arts and Sciences Anthropology Department and Academic Advising. It is designed to provide registration guidance to intended anthropology majors. The graduation requirements for the anthropology major are found in the undergraduate catalog online. The anthropology degree requires 120 hours to graduate. Those 120 hours consist of 40 hours of general education requirements, foreign language through level four, your core courses in anthropology, your major electives, and a required minor. When you add all of those courses, it is approximately 102 hours. Because you need 120 to graduate, that leaves you with approximately 18 hours of free electives. These could be any courses that you wanna take. This makes it easy for anthropology majors to add on a double major, multiple minors, and certificates. So consult your advisor if you have other areas of interest. The online catalog provides an alphabetical list of all of the minors we offer. I encourage you to start reviewing these now, and you may even want to take a course in the fall if you want to try some out. This is a sample four-year plan for anthropology majors. We want to stress the word sample because there are many different ways for you to graduate in four years. The anthropology degree is very flexible. For example, even though we list Anth 2000 in the fall, you can substitute that with any of the core anthropology classes. Or you may not be able to get into English 1100 in the fall. It's fine to take it in the spring. You'll notice that your first two semesters are composed mostly of general education classes. This means as long as you take graduation requirements for your major, which includes Gen Ed, you'll be on track to graduate. We offer a number of different concentrations or certificates. You can be working on those while also taking classes for your major or minor. The course of study for the Certificate in Forensic Anthropology provides a basic understanding of skeletal biology and human osteology, procedures for the search and recovery of human remains, methods of individual identification from the human skeleton, time since death estimation, and manner of death. The Certificate in Archaeology provides a basic background in archaeological methods, including the recovery and analysis of archaeological data and training in public archaeology, and the prehistory of several areas in both the old and new worlds. In particular, the certificate provides training for those students interested in pursuing careers in applied, non-academic archaeology. The Global Cross-Cultural Competency Certificate is designed to prepare students for professional practice in culturally diverse settings in the fields of business, education, healthcare, and human and social services. Students pursuing this certificate will build the knowledge, skills, and attitudes needed to co collaborate effectively with people from different cultural groups in both domestic and international environments. Faculty in the anthropology department teach and research in many of the different subfields in anthropology. With active research projects, faculty bring their current research into the classroom and as an anthropology major or minor, you'll have opportunities to engage in this research. The link will send you to individual bios for all of our anthropology faculty. Email the undergraduate director, Dr. Mazo, or the department chair, Dr. Daniel, if you have questions or want more information on the department and program. Now let's talk about fall registration. As you saw from the sample four-year plan, the anthropology degree is very flexible. It is recommended that you take one of the core ANTH courses in the fall in archaeology, biological anthropology, or cultural anthropology. Other than that, you may want to start your foreign language, explore minors, and take general education courses. We'll discuss those more in depth on the next few slides. Let's take a closer look at foreign language. We offer French, German, Ancient Greek, Japanese, Latin, Russian, and Spanish. At ECU, American Sign Language is not considered a foreign language. Your, B your BA degree requires foreign language through level four. The first level, 1001, is for students who have no prior knowledge of a language. If you have prior knowledge, it'd be to your benefit to take a placement test and possibly start at a higher level. Let's say you take the placement test and place into the third level of a language. You would then start with level 2003, and once you complete 2003, you would automatically receive placement credit for levels one and two. You would then need to complete level four, and your language requirement would be complete. For this reason, we recommend students with prior knowledge in language start their language as soon as possible so you don't forget what you learned in high school. We offer online placement tests for French, German, and Spanish. Keep in mind, a test is required for Spanish, even if you want to start in the first level. For test information, visit www.ecu.edu slash foreign. For the BA, you need about 40 hours of general education requirements. 
The first category of general education courses I want to discuss are the natural sciences. You must take at least seven hours of natural sciences in order to graduate. One of those sciences must include a lab. This slide contains suggestions for all non-science majors. If you are interested in pursuing a health-related pre-professional program, such as pre-med, pre-dental, pre-pharmacy, then you will need to take different science courses not listed on this screen. Consult your advisor for further guidance. You must complete at least nine hours of social sciences to graduate, and two of these must be from different disciplines or areas. As you can see, there are a lot of options for you to choose from. We offer many courses in African and African American studies, anthropology, economics, ethnic studies, gender studies, geography, history, international studies, linguistics, planning, political science, psychology, and sociology. Keep in mind that every course is offered every semester, so you'll need to check Banner Self Service for course availability. You'll also notice some courses have GD or DD listed beside them. This means they also count for your global diversity or domestic diversity credit, which is also required for graduation. You will also need at least one humanity and at least one fine art plus an additional humanity or fine art to complete this graduation requirement. Students must take nine total hours of gen ed in this category to graduate. The humanities include courses such as English literature, classical literature, foreign literature, history, religion, and philosophy. The fine arts category includes art appreciation, intro to dance, the enjoyment of music, jazz appreciation, and intro to theater, just to name a few. If you are bringing in advanced placement credit, this slide shows you the minimum scores needed and what credit you will be receiving. We typically receive AP scores from College Board in early July. If you have questions about this, consult your academic advisor. If you are bringing in college level transfer credit, you can look up course equivalencies and banner self-service. Just look under the student tab for course equivalencies, then select your state and institution. Courses listed have already been approved for transfer credit. If you see courses that transfer over as XXX, that means that while they may transfer to ECU, you may need to work with your advisor to get those reevaluated by the department to see if they will count towards your degree. Also, if you do not see a course listed, it doesn't necessarily mean it won't transfer. It just means that, again, you may need to work with your advisor to get that course reevaluated by the department. Always consult your advisor with questions. So, how do you know when we have processed your AP scores or college transfer credit? You can look in Banner Self Service under the Student tab for Student Records, then select your academic transcript. Here is an example of how AP credit and college level transfer credit will appear. As you can imagine, ECU receives a lot of transcripts, so we ask for your patience as our admissions and registrar's office staff work hard to process all of these. If you do not see your transcript updated by August 1, please be sure to reach out to your academic advisor. Now that you know all of our options, it is time to register. Use your registration pin of 082420 to register for the courses we just discussed. Remember to register for your priority courses first and then fill in the rest. You have plenty of options. You can find step-by-step -step registration instructions on many websites, including PEER, the Registrar's website, and the Academic Advising website. We also have a page listing frequent problems you may encounter, so please refer to that. If you have any further questions, please email your academic advisor. Some important reminders. Don't forget to register for a minimum of 12 hours for full-time billing purposes. And keep in mind that classes that are closed now may open later as students change majors and adjust schedules. So keep checking Banner regularly throughout the summer. Check your ECU email daily and be sure to explore the academic advising website for more great resources and the anthropology department's homepage. And finally, get to know the undergraduate catalog because your advisor will provide advice, but ultimately you will be responsible for following the requirements in that catalog. Be sure to follow the virtual orientation schedule throughout the rest of the summer so you can learn all about your major and perhaps even double major opportunities. You'll also learn about the great resources available to you at ECU. Be sure to review your admissions checklist to make sure you've taken care of everything. And finally, Always communicate with your academic advisor if you have questions or concerns. We are here to help. Advisors will be assigned sometime after you complete your orientation and once you register for classes. You can view your advisor's name in PiratePort, Banner, or DegreeWorks. Your advisor will review your schedule and will send you an email to your ECU email account. 
As you can imagine, we have a lot of incoming freshmen, so your patience is appreciated. If you have a question that you feel is urgent and have not been assigned an advisor yet, please email the anthropology department at anthug at ecu.edu or ECU's generic advising account, thcasadvising at ecu.edu with your name, banner ID, intended major, and your question, and we will assist you. Have a great rest of your summer, and above all, stay safe. We look forward to seeing you in the fall.